G'day guys, David from Be Skill Be Fit. Welcome to our masterclass this week. Today, I'm gonna to do a recap over all of the different weeks so far this term. Hope you enjoy, see you soon. Key teaching points for our underarm throw is step, point, throw. They're the words that we like to use. We say them over and over and again, and it gets our mind thinking, gets our body set every time so we get a great success rate. So how I want you to stand, grab a ball. We're gonna start with a ball or your socks or your, uh, your drink bottle, whatever it is that you're gonna throw. I'm gonna start, feet together, hands going by my side. My first thing that I'm gonna do is step towards my target. Make sure my toe is pointing towards the target. Okay, so we're lined up, eyes are on the target, hands pointing towards the target. So we've got our step, we've got our point, we're down nice and low, and then we're gonna throw. Okay, let's pick up something else, we'll go again. Remember, starting, keep together, hands by our side. We're gonna step, we're gonna point, make sure we're down nice and low, and throw. Yes, good job. We'll go with the tennis ball. Okay, feet together, hands by our side, go step, Point down nice and low, and throw. All right, what have we got left here? Let's go drink bottle again. All right, feet together, hands by our side. We're gonna step, we're gonna point. How are we going there? How are you guys going? How's your success going? Hope you haven't hit anything you shouldn't have hit. Okay, let's go again, let's go the socks. They're nice and soft. Okay, step, point, and throw, well done. So for our next drill, I've moved our buckets and things out of the way. Gone back to just one marker here each. Remember you could use a tea towel or you could use those odd socks again as your marker. So this time what I'm gonna get, I've got Adelaide over there who's gonna help me, you'll see her in a second. She's actually gonna throw the objects out to me. So as the objects come out, I'm gonna be running in. Remember I wanna be down nice and low, fingers pointing down towards the ground, eyes down on the ball. If I look up, I'm gonna end up missing it. So fingers pointing down, eyes on the ball, up, step point throw, elbow up nice and high, and throw, nice and hard. All right, so remember those fingers are gonna be pointing down so that we scoop it up. We don't wanna put our hand down flat like this and try and stop it, it'll be like a pancake, and most of the time the ball goes straight underneath. Okay, so we wanna get those fingers down behind so we can make sure we stop it. All right. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, fingers down, up, and throw. So stop, fingers down, step point throw. Fingers down, up, elbow up nice and high. Now jellyfish. Okay, fingers down, up. And we're gonna throw hard. Okay, the next couple we might do our underarm throw. Fingers down, step point throw. Fingers down. Elbow up, and throw. Woo, that's tiring. Get lots of objects, keep yourself moving. Grab a drink, and we'll come back. So we've got all our balls and our objects that we're gonna throw. So two ways we can do our catching. We can go fingers down catching, where we have our little pinkies together when the balls are coming down low at us and up to about this height where we can get our hands into that position. Once the balls start coming from higher, we need to turn our hands over so our thumbs go together and our palms are face, facing up. Okay, so we've got fingers down catching when the balls are coming low and then when the balls come from higher, we go thumbs together. 
Now remember when the ball's coming down from higher, we don't want to put our hands here. Why might you ask? Well then you can't see. So remember we want to keep our hands down under our chin so when the ball's coming down, we can see it all the way into our head. So that's our first uh, part, getting our hands together and in the correct position. Remember, we don't want to have our hands this far apart. We don't want to be doing crocodile claps, otherwise the ball's going to go straight through. So we want our hands together. The other really important thing is our eyes. We need to track the ball all the way into our hands. We don't keep watching where it's coming from, we keep watching that position while the ball's coming to us. We want to watch it all the way into our hands. It's the ball. All right, so remember, feet apart, knees bent, and throw against the wall and catch. Remember, it's going to come at all different angles. See if you can do five without dropping it, okay? We can throw some up a bit higher. So we've got to remember, turn those hands around, thumbs together, make our little cup. Throw some so they're going to come up a little bit higher. We've got to move those hands quickly. Okay, some down lower. And as we get better and better, we can make it a bit harder. You can come further back from the wall. Remember, we've got to throw. What's our throwing points? Step, point, throw. So make sure they're good throws. And we can throw back from further. And remember, we can throw harder or softer. Okay, if you throw softly, it's going to come back a bit easier for you to see, to catch, to get in position. And then as you get better and better, you can throw harder against the wall, it's going to come back faster. And you're going to have to build up your reactions and get faster at the skill. Now, important, when we do our passing, we need to step next to the ball. Okay, and it's really important that we balance onto our front foot. So I want you to start with your feet together, hands by our side, similar to when we do our step point throw. Feet together, hands by our side, and I want you to step up onto one foot. Okay, so if you're going to kick with your right foot, step onto your left foot. If you are going to kick with your left foot, step onto your right foot. Okay, now when we pass, we're going to pass with the inside of our foot. Okay, so we're going to use the inside of our foot, our, or called the instep, which is this part of our shoe. Again, if we kick it with our toe, we can't control where the ball's going. Okay, so we're going to step and turn our foot and hit with the inside, the instep of our foot. Now, if I step and stop, I'll show you. I'm now balanced on both feet. It's really hard for me to try and work out how to kick with this leg now, because I'm balancing using both feet, and it looks something like this as I try and kick without falling over. So really important. Remember when we step, we need to step onto this foot. And then I can kick as many times as I like, or as long as I've got good balance for. On to the next one, but let's do five. One. Two. Three. Remember to turn our foot so we're hitting it with the instep of our foot. Four. And five. Okay, how did you go with that? Now, next thing that we're going to do, this time I've got the goal set up next to the wall that I'm passing off. I'm going to knock it into the wall and they're going to try and knock it into the goal. Okay, so we're going to like pass, pass, pass against the wall, knock it into the goal. One, two, three, three. Okay, I've got another ball here, I'm going to have another go. Okay, remember we want to be moving forward, staying on our toes, stay balanced. Okay, off we go. Two, three, and in. I'll grab one more ball. If you don't have a couple of spare balls, you can just get the ball out of the goal and then come back and do the same again. Okay. One. Okay, so remember, you can increase the distances away. 
you can put the goal on the other side of your wall so you've got to hit it the other way. So we're just getting the ball coming to us and then knocking it at a different angle. Remember, we could do it fast. You could maybe even get someone to chase you, run in behind you, pass, pass, and quickly shoot to make it a bit harder for you. Remember, increase your distances, move the goal further away, use your right foot, use your left foot, a few different options there for you. So for our first drop, we're gonna start at the top. Remember, I'm just gonna walk through to start with. Remember, little touches, we're gonna to go in and out of the bottles. Remember not to knock any bottles. And then in, we can do a pull back to turn and stop. So remember, we're not using our toe. If I use my toe, it's gonna to go way away from me. So we want it nice and close, so no one comes and takes it. So from here, little touches, little touches, we're gonna to go in. Remember, we can use our inside of our foot or our outside of our foot. So we'll go a little bit faster. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Okay, and then we can try with our left foot. Outside, inside. Outside, inside, outside. Or we can try using both feet. So inside, 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 outside, inside. Okay. So with our rugby kicking, we're gonna start with our chip kick. So what we want to do is hands on the side of the ball, holding the ball down in front. So what we want to do to start with is all we want to do is step. Remember when we did last week with our kicking, we step onto our ball kicking foot. We're going to step onto that foot so that we're balanced. Okay, so we're going to step. And then all I want you to do is drop the ball. Okay, and then you go. So it's pretty simple. It's very simple. non-kicking foot and drop the ball. Okay, so it's really important that in that position we don't throw the ball off. Okay, we don't want to throw the ball off and try and kick it from up here. We also don't want to throw the ball down. Okay, if we throw the ball down, we don't have time to bring our kicking foot. Okay. I'm going to try and chip kick into the big bucket. Ooh. Too hard or too soft? Pretty close, that one was too hard. Okay, we'll go again. Yes! Okay, let's go for the little red one. Okay, hands on the side, down in front. Okay, a bit too hard. Again, a bit too far. Okay, so you can practice setting up a couple of targets. Move them further away, move them closer. You want to learn to be able to kick gently, kick a bit harder to kick different distances, particularly in a game, depending on how the defense is coming up, and just practicing kicking out of your hands. What we want to do is hold the ball straight out in front on the fat part of the ball and put it down to my hip. Okay, so we're going to pass across my body. Alright, so remember when we did our throwing, our step, really important. Same when we're doing our footy passing. So I'm going to step, I'm going to step towards where I want to pass. I'm now looking at where I want to pass, and my hands are going from my hip straight across my body towards our target. So the point of the ball is aiming towards the target, and my hands are going to finish pointing towards the target. Okay, so hands on the fat part, down to our hip. Okay, remember we're holding it with both hands, but not just grabbing it with one hand. Still got both hands on the ball, on my hip. I'm gonna step, I'm looking at my target. And my hands finish pointing towards the target.
to some with your left hand. Okay, elbow up nice and high, right behind the ball. Make sure I'm stepping, so I'm rocking forward, so my weight's coming forward. And we can practice our left one. We can practice our right one. We can alternate from side to side. Okay, and get stronger. Really nice, short, sharp passes, our chest pass. We can go back further. And we can practice our shoulder pass. Okay, so lots and lots of practice. Our chest pass, our bounce pass, our lob pass, and our shoulder passes. Remember, get someone to help you. You can maybe even run while you're passing and do it like a netball drill. But if you've got a wall or something where you can practice by yourself, lots and lots and lots of practice. Keep doing little challenges, move yourself back further, all those sort of things, make it a little bit harder for yourself. Keep practicing, and that's how you're gonna get better. So when you're in a game situation, and somebody's chasing you and you're under pressure, you've got really good solid technique and that's when you get great success. Great, great success. Remember, all the time, we're not slapping it, we're trying to keep our head up and bouncing up to about our belly button so we can keep control of it. Okay, so. All right. So we're going to go in and out, try and go really fast, we use our right hand, try and keep our up to our belly button, remember we want to bounce it out in front of us, we want to go right in here, remember we want to try and keep our head up and looking in case anybody's coming, and then we can do a pass to get the ball away. This time, we're going to go a little bit further around, we'll roll it, without hand pins. And then do a pass off if you've got a wall. Okay, so we can spread those out. We can make it closer, which makes it pretty tight to get in and out of. They're quite tight here. You can spread them out further. You can go as fast as you can in and out of all of the different obstacles. And put the ball down in front. Okay, so fingers up, put our fingers together, fingers down on the ball. So we've got our fingers spread so we get nice, even power. And from here, we're going to roll the ball, and my follow through is going to be right up above my head. So, turn your fingers, point your fingers together, down on the ball, ready, set, go. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, turn your fingers, fingers together, down on the ball, and go. Now, it's really important that we finish up here because that's where we get all our power from. If I just do one from here, I don't get any power and I can't roll it that hard. Okay, so we want to try and roll nice and hard. Get it together, down on the ball, looking at my target, ready, set, go. Okay, it's going to be pretty tricky. Unless I've got the wind bottle to knock the other wind bottle over. Oh. Alright, so get my fingers, get me pointing together, down on the ball, remember, eyes focusing on the target, same with our throwing, our set point throw. Okay, and Okay, so set yourself up some targets that you can aim and try and knock over.